To find the equation of a line, you're going to definitely need two things. You need a point, and it can be the y-intercept or another point, and you need the slope. Now, we just want to make sure that everybody remembers how to use slope. So slope is known as rise over run, and it's just the difference in the y values over the difference in the x values. So we're going to start with 12 minus 1 over 6 minus negative 5. That gives us 11 over 11, which is 1. Now, it doesn't matter what order you do the, the points in. You could have chosen to start with these, x2 and y2, and you would get the same result. 1 minus 12 over negative 5 minus 6 equals negative 11 over negative 11, which still gives you a positive 1. Choose the point that you feel is going to work best for you to use first. Now, point-slope form of an equation uses a point, x1, y1, and the slope, m. So its equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This form of the equation requires you to just plug in the information and do no arithmetic whatsoever. It is y is superior to y equals mx plus b. Now, slope-intercept form of an equation uses a slope, m, and the only intercept that has a special variable, which is the y-intercept, b. And this is y equals mx plus b. This is great for graphing, especially when the y-intercept is an integer. And finally, standard form of an equation is ax plus by equals c. It's used mostly for when you're solving systems of equations. Now, finding the equation of a line with a slope of 3 fourths and passing through the point negative 12, 7 is going to be fairly easy. First, I'm just going to write the basic boring equation of a line. And we're going to plug everybody in. We're going to plug in the slope, 3 fourths, and it's going to go in here. And this one will be x1 and y1. So we get y minus 7 equals 3 fourths x minus negative 12. Now you can see that the 3 fourths and the 12 will cancel. This means it's going to have an excellent y-intercept. If you were not asked to put it in any particular form, you are finished. If they do want you to convert it into y equals mx plus b, all we have to do is distribute this 3 fourths in order to get it into y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to get y minus 7, and I'm going to get 3 fourths x, and 3 fourths times 12 is going to give me 9. So I'm going to get a plus 9. And the last step you do is just solve for y. Let's bring that 7 over by adding 7, and we get y equals 3 fourths x plus 16. And that's how you write the equation of the line.